everybody, Agli here again, and today I'm gonna talk about guess, 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 rallies. I'm gonna talk about rallies again because I love them so much, which, you know, I told you that in the previous videos that uh, you might have not watched, in which case, click on, um, you know, things below, above, below, and watch them after you've done this, obviously. Anyway, rallies, back to practical things because inspiration is one thing, and obviously, the practical stuff. It was also super important. So today I wanted to talk about rally costs. What it really costs to race a rally as a beginner. Okay, so first things first, entry fee. That's like the most basic thing that you kind of have to pay. So for most bigger European rallies, and again, I'm talking about rallies like Hispanian Hellas Rally, not because they're the only ones, but simply because that's what I do. So like, that's, that's all I know. That's what I'm talking about. Desert rallies obviously are a lot more expensive, especially rallies like Dakar and Africa Eco Race, but we're not talking about them. We're talking about beginner rallies. So again, Hispania and Hellas are kind of perfect for that. So entry fee, um, and I'm doing these paper things because my editing skills are kind of, you know, not great. So I'm just making life easier for me and hopefully for you. There we go. Entry fee for a road big navigation rally like Hispania or Hellas. 700 euros. There we go. Can you see that? Yep. Yep. Okay, cool. Awesome. 700 euros entry fee. Sometimes it's a little less, sometimes it's a little more, but like on average, 700 euros is pretty much what you're looking to pay if you're racing Hispania or Hellas. Next up, you are going to need a motorcycle, right? We talked about bikes before. You don't need a super special rally bike, racing bike, any of those things. But if you're flying in from another continent and you're renting a bike, um, typically it's probably going to be something like a KTM 450 or a KTM 350, something like that. Like that's pretty standard. That's what I've seen the most. Um, you're going to pay about 1,800 1, euros for the whole rally. Uh, assistance included so you know it's actually um, not a bad deal for seven days of racing you have the bike and you have a team of mechanics working on it so that's that's actually pretty cool but let's say you're racing on your own motorcycle doesn't matter what it is right we talked about that remember any bike will do even a dr650 especially a dr650 anyway so let's say you're racing on your own bike and you want assistance this is more or less the price about 1200 euros again it depends on uh on the team on the company that you're working with and assistance so yeah 1200 euros to 1500 euros typically assistance means that you get help uh, for your bike, you got mechanics working on your bike, so you come back after a stage, you come back to the bivouac, you take your bike to the paddock of whichever team you're with, and the mechanics take care of it, and it's ready for you in the morning. It's pretty cool if it's your first rally and you're not mechanically minded like certain people, <clears throat> then, uh, then yeah, get assistance if you can afford it. It just makes life that much easier. Now, you've paid your entry fee. You've got your bike in assistance or not. Again, you can do it Male Moto, you can do it on your own, whatever. It's just for people who are, again, like like me, just kind of useless with mechanical stuff. Um, so now you've got uh, your entry paid, you've got your motorcycle, you've got your assistance. If it's your first rally, chances are you probably don't have the roadbook equipment, which typically includes the trip, mar the, the trip master, um, your box where the paper roll goes into. Um, and a GPS tracker, right? So that whole thing costs about a thousand euros, 800 euros, brand new. Right, there we go. Um, on the other hand, like if you buy it used, um, which I know a lot of people do, um, I've heard of uh, a friend of mine actually told me that he managed to find a deal on eBay or something like that for like 400 euros. So, you know, if like if you're in a tight budget, uh, but if you definitely want to buy the roadbook equipment, it can be like, um, you know, four or 500 euros. Again, brand new. This is what you're looking at. Another option is actually to rent. Um, I will leave a bunch of links below, but there's one company called Laba7. It's actually a Lithuanian one. Um, and they make this pretty amazing roadbook navigation equipment and you can rent it for the rally and you only pay like half the price of it and then after the rally you know if you like if you love it which again you will <laughs> um, probably most likely so if you love it you can keep it you know you pay the rest and you keep it so that's actually a pretty good deal I will leave the link below that is the basics so 
If you have your motorcycle with your roadbook navigation equipment and you do not need assistance, you're mechanically minded, you can fix stuff on your bike, this is all you're going to pay. That's it. Right? 700 entry fee and off you go racing. On the other hand, if you need to rent a bike, that's 1500 euros. If you need a bike and assistance, that's about 1800 euros. Give or take, plus the roadbook equipment, again, 800 to 8000 euros. It all depends on what you want to do. Um, if you're doing the adventure class, adventure raid, adventure, I don't remember what it's called exactly, at uh, Hellas Rally, for example, then you don't need the roadbook stuff, right? Because you, you're going to have your GPS navigation, so that's, that's not an issue. So as you can see, you can kind of like either just go like bare bones, just pay the entry fee, pray that your bike holds and do everything yourself, or you can spend more money for more comfort for um, a bike if you're flying in and so on and so forth. Two last things here. Oh man, I put an extra zero here. Okay, so like this regard that racing insurance. You will have um, to purchase racing insurance for whichever rally you do. If it's an FIM, you know, if it's an official rally, even if you're in amateur class, you don't need a racing license, but you do need racing insurance. Do get it. It is important because, you know, if something does happen to you and you realize your insurance isn't covering it, like you're in big trouble. So get insurance. So. I added one more zero for some reason. So racing insurance at Hellas was 120. There we go, 120 euros. Um, do talk to your insurance company, maybe they can provide it. If not, um, I got my racing insurance policy at the Hellas Rally um, admin office during the scrutineering day. So it's not a big deal, but do get it. Racing insurance is important. Finally, you might need to pay an additional 50 euros for uh, the GPS tracker. The GPS tracker is what everybody gets, every single competitor. Um, typically the rally staff puts it on your bike so they can track you and again if anything happens to you they will come and get you so that's like um, the 50 euro additional fee. And this is it, there you have it. So like I said again you can do everything for just 700 euros or 800 thereabouts, just the entry fee if you're taking care of everything else yourself or you can spend up to two, three thousand euros if you want to, if you need to, but you don't have to, right? The last thing is accommodation and food. So again, bare bones, just bring your tent, camp out at the bivouac because uh, rally organizers typically provide like showers, bathrooms, uh, and there's typically like a canteen type of thing at the bivouac, so you can just survive um, with camping or if you're bringing your own bike uh, with a van or a motorhome, that works too. So then you don't have any additional expenses for accommodation. Food, that's up to you. Beer, obviously, that's up to you too. Um, for Hellas, because this is my first huge, well, it felt huge for me, and it is a really big rally, by the way. So, um, yeah, so because it was my first rally and it was a pretty big one, um, and I didn't have a team or supporters or, or sponsors or like anything at all. I was there all on my own. <laughs> and uh, I asked the organizers, like, should I camp or should I get a hotel? And they were like, you know what, just get a hotel. You'll thank yourself later. And they were actually right. So I paid like 60 euros a night for a hotel in Corpenisi, Greece. And, you know, it really was a good decision. I don't want to sound like a wuss, but honestly, because again, I was like, hell, it's the seven days of racing. You feel the pain, man, you, you feel the pain. So having a nice bed is nice, but again, not necessary. If you're a tough guy or gal, you're fine uh, with camping, then that saves you a bunch of money. So to sum up, again, 700 euros just for the entry fee if you're taking care of everything else yourself, and about 1,500 to 2,000 euros, I guess, if you're renting a motorcycle and getting assistance, plus, of course, the roadbook equipment but again you can rent that you don't have to pay for that so this is pretty much it let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you need to know or you want to know about rallies if you have any more questions i'll try to make another video as soon as i can see you at the bivouac